Welcome to this introductory video to Newspapers.com, where we'll reveal some tips on how to navigate effectively, search, browse, make clippings, and share your discoveries with others. These links at the top of the homepage take you directly to the areas you'll use most on Newspapers.com. You can always start your search using the Search page with its basic and advanced search options, but those same options are also available on the home page. In just a moment, you'll see how convenient the search link is when you're further into the site. The Browse link takes you to the main newspaper navigation menu, where newspapers are listed by country, state, and city. Notice that you can also search within whatever location is highlighted. We'll do that a little later. Choose the Papers link to view all newspapers published on newspapers.com. You can also narrow the list by title, date, location, and how recently it was updated or added. Note that you can also search from this page as well, and as promised earlier, here is where you may find a fast link back to the search page comes in handy. Let's move to the clippings page. This is where you'll find clippings of articles, headlines, and items of interest discovered by other newspapers.com subscribers, as well as your own. Let's clip a few items next by performing a couple searches. Newspapers are great at reporting major events as well as short local items that may include people you know. Let's explore both ends of the spectrum. We'll start our search with one word, Titanic, to see if we'll find news of the 1912 disaster. We've got over 91,000 matches with some of the best in newspapers from major U.S. cities in 1912, but we can be sure to focus on just those published in 1912 by narrowing the date with these sliders or by typing in the year. An event of this magnitude will result in important stories for weeks, as evidenced by a still large number topping 10,000 matches for 1912 alone. Let's see what this April 24th issue of the Washington Post is reporting on. Hits on the word Titanic are lit up with a yellow highlight, and we can click these arrows to move from one instance to the next. Or we can close this search box to see the page and quite a few related stories even 10 days after the event. Now let's use the Browse menu to search closer to the date of the catastrophe, but keep it within the Washington Post. While it happened on April 14th, the ship hit the iceberg in the evening, so we'll look at the headline news for April 15th. Highlighting that date brings up thumbnails of all 12 pages of that edition, and page 1 is probably the best place to learn of this major breaking news in a headline. And here we have it. We can zoom in from here and move it to the middle of the viewer. While we're here, let's clip this so we can find it again later. After choosing the clipping tool, move the box and adjust its size using the handles on the corners and sides to get exactly the area you wish to clip. Think of this as a virtual pair of scissors. Add a description if you wish, clip it, share it to Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest, and view it on your clippings page. When you click on a clipping, it will return you to the full page of the paper you first clipped it from. To look at more pages within the newspaper, use the film strip at the bottom of the viewer or the arrows on either side of the page. Now let's click on search again and explore less notorious news. We're going to use advanced search to see what we can find for a man named Isidore Mayer. For year range, we'll use the year he was born, 1869, and the year he died, 1961. We receive over 2,000 matches. He lived in Iowa, and most of these newspapers are from Iowa, but to be sure, let's choose the state on the left by clicking the map icon or the Iowa text link. Now our match is number 237 within 198 newspaper pages. We want to read these articles in chronological order, so let's change the sort tab from best matches to paper date oldest first. The names that match our search are highlighted in yellow, and we can get a good idea of what's in each article from these thumbnails. I've clipped several and they're now available on my clippings page to find later or share with others. One story I didn't find was Isidore's obituary. I'm going to alter the search directly from this last clipping that says he's in hospital. Clicking on the clipping takes us to the main newspaper page where I'm going to highlight the date here at the top. This takes us to the browse menu. We'll choose the newspaper for the week he died and then search on just his last name in the search box. The one match we get is the one we want. We find his obituary, but the newspaper had misspelled his first name. I'm going to clip this too and add it to the other clippings. And here we see the other clippings we've made in this tutorial, the Titanic headline and a few others for Isidore Mayer. Next, we want to return to our search and save it so that we will be notified when something new is added that matches our search. You can always find and edit searches you've saved here on your profile page. 
Enjoy discovering news of events and stories in history on newspapers.com.